There is always this burning question that has been asked many times in different ways. What is the meaning of life? We all go through this cycle and there is always that end point that some accept and most dread. Tales of Kenzera, Zhao, goes on the side of loss, which is another journey we go through in life. We always go through different emotions when someone we care about leaves us. But I digress. Welcome to this review published by EA Originals and developed by Surgent Studios. Can we find closure through this game? Keep in mind, this will be a spoiler free review. Tales of Kenzera Zhao starts off with a young man, Zuburi, not accepting his father's loss. This is the grieving stage and he is fighting to accept his Baba's passing. He does have support from his mother, who has another life growing within her. The last thing he has left is a story Zaburi's Baba left to him. This is where the game truly begins as now you take on the role of the young shaman Zhao, who seeks a way to bring his father back from the dead. By taking on the quest from the god of death Kalunga, you are tasked with a quest and upon finishing this quest only Kalunga will free your father's soul. As a side note, for viewers that don't know, Baba is a term used for father in many different languages of Albanian, Arabic, Western, Armenian, Chinese, Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi, Bengali, Greek, Marathi, Mingralian, Nepali, Persian, Swahili, Turkish, Yoruba, Shona, and Zulu. Just a FYI. You make a deal with Kalunga to seek out the spirits in exchange for your Baba's return. Only if it was so easy. Keep in mind this is a Metroidvania style game with many passages, secrets to uncover, so buckle up for this one. As stated, this is a Metroidvania style game with many passages and collectibles throughout your journey. Not only are you building up Zhao for each fight, but growing as a shaman. The masks that you wear are the sun and moon, which act as your melee and range abilities. The sun mask grants the user great strength and furious attacks. The moon is for long range fighting, light energy that has a cooldown effect. Now being who I am, I was playing on hard mode as I didn't notice that the number was counting up for whatever reason. I had a bunch of unused skill points after playing for four hours. There's a skill tree? I've been playing this game. I want to say in game hours, I want to say five, no, four hours. And I'm just now learning about a skill tree. The skill tree is pretty easy to fill up if you plan to go around collecting everything and enhance your abilities with the mask you wear. I highly recommend getting the range reflectability against long ranged enemies. Yeah, they'll shoot whatever at you and you can deflect them with light energy. Speaking of enemies, they come in all shapes and sizes that will keep you on your toes. Even worse, when they get secondary armor catered to the color of your mask. Blue armor is weak against moon attacks and red armor is weak against sun attacks. There is neutral armor which is white and weak against both. I highly recommend taking out the flyers and the bug enemies that take both your health and other enemies energy. It brings a new challenge when you are surrounded, utilize your dodge mechanics and if you do a perfect dodge, you are good money because it causes a slowdown effect on enemies. Once you become a fully realized shaman, you can backtrack and obtain other lores, trinkets, or other secrets. Speaking of trinkets, you will start off with one slot to swap between only at work benches, but do not fret, you will unlock a second slot to combine traits. Also temples to obtain more abilities that will help with other puzzle areas or closed off areas. Again, the best thing in Metroidvania games is being able to return to areas and unlock barriers that stopped you before. And then there is the boss battles, which are far, <laughs> far apart depending on your play style. I tend to get lost looking for things or leveling up my character, so the gap between boss battles is pretty long. I have had to choose a favorite boss. It would have to be Gagor, sorry. It's hard for me to pronounce his name, Gogorib. His whole design and combat set was fun to figure out. Also, there is a heartbreaking story behind this spirit. Again, no spoilers. 
The puzzle aspects are not bad at all. Pretty easy to figure out. You just have to get the special abilities that you need to get into certain areas. And of course, you gotta pull certain boxes to activate certain doors or get certain keys in certain areas to open up another door to get to the next level. Tales of Kinzira Zao takes you on a beautiful journey along four different acts. You will be captivated by artist Kitty Jones with great composer Nainita Desai. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. The whole creative team did an excellent job with the creative character design and bringing the Bantu mythology to Tales of Kinzira. Metroidvania games have evolved so much with today's tools to make it feel 3D in a 2D space. The journey about grief and losing someone close comes to life in this game and that made it a beautiful experience. Honestly, it's not too much of a bad thing or a game breaking situation, but nothing is ever perfect. There will be some hiccups with some games, but nothing game breaking as I said before. There are times when Zhao will get stuck for a moment when you drop down through floors and he will be stuck in crouch, not able to move. But you hit jump, he'll get out of it. Nothing else to report. The rest that goes on is just human error. I went into Tales of Kanzura Zao just expecting another platformer, but it came out with so much emotion and understanding. The creator at the 2023 Game Awards, Abu Bakar Salim, wanted to share his journey through grief with the world. Mama loved the countryside, but Baba was a city boy. I think the message was clear with a great game with a beautiful artistic visuals, music, and gameplay. EA Originals backed a great game, even though it clocks in a little over 9 hours, the journey was a full experience that I enjoyed. The final verdict for Tales of Kenzira Zhao gets 4 beastly paws out of 5. Check it out for yourself, which is available on PlayStation Systems, Xbox Series X and S, and PC via Steam. Thanks to Defiler for the giveaway copy and, you know, who is not affiliated with EA in any way or Surgent Studios. He just wanted to help support indie content, which makes sense. I, I get that. But other than that, thanks for checking out the review. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Stay tuned for more content between making previews, reviews, and news reports. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Other than that, beast out. Yeah,